Hey, shalom, I'm Tina Kutu, Tina Tati Kato. I'm just doing a hard and fast Maui. And this is what a tohunga is meant to do, you know? Everyone want to talk about what a tohunga is and what a tohunga can do. A tohunga is meant to read the signs. You know? So I'm just going to talk about Maui for now and just interpretate the meanings of the signs that our tohunga left us in words. So what is his magic rope? Maui had a magic rope. His magic rope is his people. Each thread and fibre of that rope is his people. Uh, this is Maui found his bros. I just did this all in like two minutes. You know, I just read it down in hard and fast two minutes. And there's a couple of tohu. This is a tohu here. He found his brothers. Who's his brothers? He had 12 brothers all up. And his brothers are the 12 tribes of Israel. He had, uh, there's many stories of him having five brothers, him having six brothers, him having 12 brothers. But those are just, Maui is just our type of Bible. This one name holds many stories and many prophecies and many parables and many dark scenes. So he's got to understand that these dark scenes need to come into the light. And this is what a tohunga is meant to be explaining to you. So... Yeah, I was just chilling in bed and I just saw this on my wall and I was I just had a class and I was like, oh, yo, I might as well just record this shit so I can explain to you guys, the viewers, what a tohunga is meant to do. Now, he found his mother. What does that mean when he found his mother? Taranga. Who's Taranga? That's his hapu. That's his mother, his hapu, Taranga. Piru Taranga. And that's his mum and that's his hapu. And the hapu cast him out. Just like Moses' story. It's all exactly the same. Now what does fishing up the Ika mean? Fishing up the Ika means fishing up his people. Use other people. Use other Ika. And we need to fish each other up back onto Waka Maui, underneath the Kawa Maui. You know, so what is the jawbone? And that's what the Ika really is. Ika means to battle. It doesn't mean a fish. Ika means to wrestle. It doesn't mean a fish. Every fish has a name. And we didn't call fish Ika. We call the, the catching of the fish Ika. The wrestle Ika. The battle is an Ika. When the, when uh, Maui wrestled the sun, he he was Ika the sun. Ika the sun is wrestling it. And the true Ika is his people. And um, in the end days of Maui's story, he fishes up his Ika at the end. And the great Ika he wants to fish up is not Tika or Maui or Aotearoa. Tika, he really is going to fish up is the people of America. A Maori Ika. Amerigo. Well, that's his people who we need to fish up. It's the people of America. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And what is his jawbone? The jawbone is the word. The jawbone is the word. The word of the Most High. The Bible is the jawbone. And what did he put on the jawbone? He punched his nose and he put his blood from his nostrils onto his jawbone. And blood that comes out of your nostrils represents wisdom, understanding and the truth. And he put that down into words. His wisdom, understanding, and his truth, and his kawa, and his light, into a book, into a Bible, and we call that a jawbone. He didn't carry a jawbone around, he carried his word around. What does a jawbone do? It talks, it speaks. What does it have? It has white teeth, pure white teeth. And what is a jawbone? The bottom jawbone represents the earth. And the jawbone's name was Muriranga Whenua from the Tupuna Muriranga Whenua. And what does the word Muriranga Whenua mean? It means what the jawbone can do in this realm. That's what you tohunga, so-called tohunga, are meant to be explaining to my people. Now, he found his dad, found his father. Makia Tutara was his father. What is the father? Makia Tutara is the word of the Most High. That's what his father is. He found his father. He got anointed in the word of truth. He got the jawbone. He 
get the flames of light from Mahuika, the anointed one. So parables and similitudes. He's needing to learn dark sayings. That's why he's ain't tohunga in my eyes. None. The most high will shame you all, and I'll shame you all too. And what does slowed the sun mean? Eh? How he slowed Tama, a man, Tera, the most high man. Tama Tera. Nah, it's not the sun in the sky. I'm talking about the man who rules over you, who was the most high. And that's him fighting against the oppressor. That's him slowing the sun. How did he slow the sun down? With the jawbone. And his magic rope, his people, and the word of justice, judgment. The jawbone is judgment and justice, and we need to give judgment and justice back. But first, you need to know the father. You need to know who your father is. Who did Maui Ha pray to? Who did Maui Tikitikiataranga pray to? Who did he come from? He came from Hawa, Ikinui, Hawa Ikiroa, Hawa Ikipamamao. So you tohunga, so called tohunga, tohunga out there. I declare war against you back in 2016. And I declare war against you today. Because you're telling lies to my people. These are the false Pharisees. You need to get chin checked. So, gave fire unto man. What's that mean? Hey, he gave fire unto man. Got the five fingernails of truth. Of fire from Mahuika. What's Mahuika? Mahuika is the anointed one of peace and of truth and of harmony. And that's when he gave the law to the Israelites, to the 12 tribes of Israel. Now that's what he gave to man. Now, this is all a tohu. There's many more to who I can tell you about. Either fuck, I can tell you everything you can know about my fathers. I ain't a liar, Tohunga. I don't need evidence. I, here it is right here. It's called Tohu. It's called Read the Signs. It's written in the words of the Most High, who puts his word into our ancestors, who, who, who speak it and put it down on paper for us to read, and that's the true Tohu. You'll see it in the fiery bush and you just can't even read the ancient languages. That's why we speak English and read English today. It's still the same story, same shit, different time. But here it goes. This is what the interpretation is of this little piece of tohu I got here. This is how you be a tohu. This is what we have to do. We have to unite the tribes. Why? Because the first thing we did was make the rope. We don't want you old buggers, and we don't want the children. We want the men in between, just like how you cut a heart of kiki. You think I don't know knowledge of my people. I know all the knowledge of my people, and I challenge anyone's knowledge. Anyone, any white man, any scholar, any so-called tohunga, you can't even explain this basics. This is, this is child's play. I knew this when I was 10. This is 10-year-old level. Can't even, don't even know how to interpret our songs and our words. I didn't even know how to speak to you real, but I know how to interpret the tohu. Now we got to unite the tribes, the 12 tribes of Israel, and fish up the tribes. Then establish the law. Then stand up as a nation against the oppressor with the words of the Most High. That's how basic the story of Maui is. And this is one story you got to learn about Maui, right? He left his brothers with this ika. And he came back. And his brothers have cut the ika up into many pieces with many hills, valleys, and rivers. And what does that mean? That means you, the Maori people, have become tribes and separate, separated each other from each other. When we're, this ika is meant to be one ika, no matter where my feet take me, this is tika Maui. And now I'm going to fish you all up, back onto the waka. Get the truth. Expose the truth to the people around the world. Okay? And Maui is from his waka. Where's that waka? Te Waipunami. Te waka o Maui. There's heaps of secrets he's don't even know about your own culture. And he's talking about me reading a white man Bible. That's my goddamn Bible. 
No, no, white man. It's my Joel Byrne. Damn heathens need to wake up. And to all my Modi people out there, to all the 12 tribes scattered abroad, uh, Shalawam, to all of you, peace be upon you, okay? You need to wake up, come back to the Most High. His law, that's what Maui gave to man. He gave fire, known as Kawa, unto man. Not mankind or beasts. He gave it to us, okay? And I can precept everything. Say so all honor and glory goes to the most high. I'm going back to my my bed. Because this is easy knowledge for me to just just throw out there anyway. But you just need to learn about Maui. Okay. And I and, and I actually do challenge any Tohunga and um Aotearoa, any kahuna out there, I challenge you to. All praises to the most high. Shalom.